two young goaltenders between both pipes. Brought to you by Courtyard by Marriott. It is Brandon Hope between the pipes for the Sarnia Sting and Matea Mahoski for the Brampton Battalion getting his first start. To take the opening draw here this afternoon at the bunker in the Powerade Center. Here we go. Play is underway. Sogut still has the puck. Back to the point. Shots from the point. They score! Well, that a seeing eye shot through traffic. And the battalion jump out to a 1-0 lead. Dylan Blue just let the shot go. I don't know if it's redirected on the way in, but certainly went through a maze of skates. Well, Dylan Blue just gets credit for the goal, but credit for this goal should really also go to uh, the hard work from uh, Andreas Sogas trying to pick up the puck behind the net. He strips the Sarnia Sting player of the puck, gets the puck put to Blue. Here we go. Flemington and O'Neill off the draw. Flemington, a big, tough customer, but Alex O'Neill has certainly had his opportunities to... Oh, and a big right from O'Neill! And Flemington's just hanging on. O'Neill with some side punches, just trying to get him down. Throwing those low punches, and O'Neill looking to come over the top again. Alex O'Neill with the deadly right end, caught Flemington square on the jaw. And Flemington has a size advantage, too. Look how much taller he is than O'Neill, but there goes the bucket. And Flemington looks like he just wants to hang on and finish this one off. He does, both guys with the pat. It's an edging out Sarnia by 10 goals incurred this season. Paulchuk gets the stick up as he and Lane look like they're going to drop the gloves, and they do. Paulchuk, the first one to let go, and he's thrown five big rights. Lane throws a right in the left. They get tied up, and Lane now just looking for uppercuts. Paulchuk hanging on as they pin against the boards, and this all started right off the draw with both guys getting the sticks up, and Lane is throwing rights and lefts, just trying to hang on, and they pull down to the ice. The linesman coming in. So two tilts in the first six minutes and eight seconds. the stick of Spencer Abraham, gave it away. Kiel Kerbashian on the break. Jordan Old come back. Kerbashian scores! A shorthanded goal tying the game. You do not want to give Kale Kerbashian that much space, especially on a breakaway. He executes that to perfection, and that is a tie game, folks. Let's see that one more time. Brought to you by Mandarin. A little bit of a flub there by Spencer Abraham. Can't get Kerbashian off the puck. Somehow he muscles Jordan Alt. Not only that, but he roofs the puck after Mahovsky is completely befuddled by Kerbashian's movements right there, and he waits. The patience there is the key. Very well done by Kale Kerbashian. Thorne. Battalion on the power play for the next 35 seconds. Tansky out in front, Matt McLeod puts it home, gives the Battalion a 2-1 lead. One thing the Battalion have been doing very well this season, particularly on the power play, is passing, and that is a great example of team passing. The Brampton Battalion regained the lead almost as soon as they lost the lead. Look at that, one pass, two pass, three pass, boom, tic-tac-toe, McLeod at the end of it, very good finish, right place at the right time, but it's the passing that's the story here. They're able to outplay and out... ...by Susie in the corner, jumps on the loose puck, right to the front of the net, they score! Crashing the front of the net for the Battalion. They get the goal and lead it 3-1. And boy, Brandon Hope just saw a white jersey flash in front of his eyes, but did not catch the puck as it bounced off and into the net. Watch this one in the replay as the Battalion stormed the front of the net. Ian Waters he was going in heavily. He was also complaining that perhaps the net went off its moorings before the puck went in the net. From that replay, it's clearly not the case, so Hope doesn't have a hope that the goal will be called off. But still. And again, Thorne will go toe to toe now with Charletti. Oh, and Thorne connects with two rights. Now a left. Charletti backpedaling. Stefan Thorne gets the right hand loose. Charletti hanging on, trying to come over top. Thorne switches hands to the left, and he's hit him three times in a job. Stefan Thorne, one of the top middleweights here in the OHL. I'll tell you what, if you can... He sends it wide to the net. Tansky 
Picks up the loose puck. Out in front to the top. It's Matt McLeod burying it. The battalion lead 4-1. McLeod's second goal of the game. And a great second assist from Scott Tansky. Talk about right place at the right time. Matt McLeod has seemed to be doing this all game long. And that is translating to his second goal of the game. Good effort there by Tansky to get the puck in McLeod. The puck just takes an errant bounce off the Sting player and it just lands in McLeod's lap. But Tansky, the real story there is Tansky stripping. This really had no hope on the play. Battle in front of the penalty box is Craig Moore tied up with Brent Sullivan. And Sullivan and Moore now go toe to toe as they land on top. Moore throwing a couple of big rights as the players were down on the ice. And they'll head off into the box. Huge hit along the boards. And a penalty coming as we got a fight again behind the net. Sam Carrick and Daniel Broussard. And this one is down heavily as Joe Rogalski in the corner. Carrick trying to get a hold of Broussard. And both players will go to the ice. Rogalski is down. Rogalski got punished in front of the net and not being too bothered. Santini comes around the corner and scores. Michael Santini makes it 5-1. to one. And we'll take a look at it one more time. As it essentially was a wraparound, a individual effort there by Michael Santini. Santini chases after the puck. Abraham, good job there to stop. One of four here in this game. In front, a big opportunity. Santini buries it on the power play with 16 seconds left in the second. Michael Santini's second out of the game. It's 6-1 Battalion. I think it might have been O'Neal that scored that oh, goal, indeed, actually. Yeah. And uh, that, that was after a glorious save by John Cullen at point-blank range. And the rebound just went back to O'Neal's stick. And it only took seven seconds for the battalion to get another power play goal. But 6-1 after two periods of play. We're coming back with more of Battalion Hockey live on Rogers. Kicked around the boards. Sharp angle shot, they score! Redirected right in front of Matea Mahoski. I think that might have gone off Spencer Abraham and in the net. It's a 6-2 hockey game. And the battalion opened the door. Just a little bit of a crack for the Cernia Sting. Mahoski's not too happy with that one. I, wish, I think he wishes he had that one back. And we'll see exactly why right now. As it was just an Aaron shot, it looked like... Brent Ritchie was just try or Brent Ritchie was just trying to get the puck in front of the net and I guess there's the cardinal rule right there shoot the puck to the net you'll never know what happens and there's the you'll never know part blue line McIver with the stick out loose puck and again the battalion score on their own goal Cameron win this time oh my it's 6 to 3 which team is he on my goodness Cameron wind trying to clear the puck out of the crease and instead right into the back of the net and that is just an embarrassing goal but guess what the lead is now cut in half as we take a look at it one more time here's Campani the puck goes to the net there's a, there it is again shoot the puck towards the net you never know what happens the never know part this time is Cameron Wynn trying to clear the puck instead he clear the net is empty at Sarnia Stingen and Stefan Thorne will have no problem making this a 7-3 hockey game Dave McQueen goes for the empty net and tries to get the extra attacker on there, but he didn't bet on the battalion bouncing the puck off the glass and through center ice. Stefan Thorne leading the way. It's 7-3 battalion. Francisco, cross ice pass. Lada leaves it. Campagna steps in and rifles one home. JC Campagna, second goal of the game. It's 7-4 now for the battalion. What a wrist shot from J.C. Campagna. And a nifty pass from Nick Lana. Campagna from the circle. Goes up high. The draw with Craig Hontod. It's moved behind the net. Philip Lane comes over to pick it up. Sends it out in front. Alex O'Neill with the opportunity. But that one goes awry. And 
J.C. Campagna's long shot right on net. That does it for the third period of play. But the Brampton Battalion with a big home victory. Their second home win in a row as they, or their second win in a row rather, as they knock off the visiting Sarnia Sting 7-4. As I said, a great first two periods of play for the Battalion. Matt McLeod with a couple of goals and they'll take a three goal win and have the two wins in three games over the weekend. We're gonna take a break here on Battalion Hockey, live on Rogers TV, brought to you by Canadian Tire. We're coming back with our wrap up. Stay with us, Battalion win it 7-4 on home ice.